We've talked a lot about North Korea's ballistic missiles, and for good reason, because they pose a significant nuclear weapon threat. But now the North's latest military drones are also gaining attention. So let's take a closer look at what they are and what South Korea is doing to better protect itself. North Korea has been very proud to exhibit two drones in particular, described by state media as strong pillars of defense. They were carried by vehicles through Pyongyang for the North's massive military parade last week, having also been shown in flight during the day. With a wingspan of 40 meters, the Setbyol 4 is a surveillance drone, bearing more than a passing resemblance to the American RQ-4 Global Hawk. And we were also shown the Setbyol 9, an attack drone with a wingspan of 20 meters and apparently inspired by the American MQ-9 Reaper. These North Korean drones seem to be the fruits of years of efforts. Even back in 2016, a United Nations report claimed the North possessed around 300 drones, including for both spying and combat purposes. And with that number likely growing significantly, South Korea has been repeatedly placed on alert, especially late last year, when five North Korean drones crossed the inter-Korean border and even avoided being shot down despite the South scrambling light attack aircraft and helicopters. Yet South Korea's expressed confidence that neither the Setbyol 4 nor the Setbyol 9 pose a major threat. This is partly because South Korean officials judged that the sheer size of the two drones means they'd be easily detected by the South's air defense radars. But going further than that, while the Setbyol 4 resembles the American Global Hawk, it's thought that it would not be equipped with the same quality of surveillance equipment. And if you look closely, there's no sign of the ultra-high frequency antennae which would be required for long-range operations. Skepticism about the North's spying technology was fueled by the limited capacity of the satellite that recently crashed into the Yellow Sea after a failed launch. Developing advanced drones is seen as a challenge for the North because it would in theory find it difficult to access the required parts due to UN Security Council sanctions. For now, this may be more of a show of force by North Korea, but as with its constantly advancing nuclear weapons, that doesn't mean North Korean drones won't be a very real threat in the future. South Korea's military is responding to this possibility by developing its anti-drone capabilities, including the establishment of a drone operation command and constantly developing ways to neutralize smaller drones by equipping helicopters with so-called anti-drone guns. These guns would actually be portable jammers aimed at incapacitating enemy drones through signal interference. Whether that will be sufficient will be tested the next time North Korea decides to send drones across the border.